Hi, Daniel. Great job. I like your last of the video. In fact, it was so good, I decided I'd have to go and get that teapot. My friends at Space Resources went and sent up a rover and, and grabbed it out of low Earth or more orbit. So just to show you, it really does exist. Okay. Now, obviously, you're going to say I'm lying, that that's actually not the space pe teapot people were talking about. But there's something very different about this teapot and God. And I have here a scale. That's a scale. What I can do with this teapot, which may amaze some peop people, it's turning on right now. I should probably put it, oh, it's on a book. It's not going to be the greatest spot. But we can get a general idea. Well, 1.2 pounds. Not sure why it's on pounds, but it is. Does anybody know my point? How much does God weigh? How would you know if you found God? I know how I found a teapot, but I don't know how I would find God. Now you might say pray, you might say read the Bible, you might say things that are very vague. In other words, it's not empirical. I can't test it. Now, if you wanted to prove me wrong, this really wasn't the celestial teapot, what you might do is you might check it for radiation. You say, well, it couldn't have been going around in orbit because it doesn't, it's not radioactive enough, because it would get more radioactive than an object that sat on Earth. So that would be a good way of doing it. You could also say, well, you have no relationship with space resources. When did they send this robot up? What ship went there? You would have something you could empirically investigate to prove that I was lying. When it comes to the Bible, when it comes to God, there's no proof. We have no tangible thing to look for. People have tried to do prayer in terms of affecting an outcome. No evidence. There is no tangible proof for the existence of God. So, I would argue with you, God is less probable than the existence of a celestial teapot. Something to think about.